Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We traveled back to Colorado Springs and Corporal Marcelo Gonzalez uh, called us up. Uh, Team November, come in. This is Team November, go ahead. Yeah, I got Ms. Wong, the manager at the Sands Lux Apartments on the line. And this one might actually be something. Says she's got a tenant who might be making bombs in... Shush, 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 let me talk to them. They're <coughs> leaving out important details. Uh... It's the weirdo in apartment three. He's gonna kill us all. There's all kinds of loud banging coming from his room. And he's not alone. He's got friends in there. They're planning something, I know it. Have you tried calling the marshals? Downtown is their territory. Do you think I would have called you if the marshals had listened to me? They say I call too much. Goddamn lazy good for nothings. Maybe there was nothing going on those other times, but this one's real. I'm sure of it. Come to the Sands Lux apartments now. That loony's liable to blow the whole place sky high. 150 bucks. Uh, sorry, November. Over and out. Huh? What do you mean by sorry? Okay. I guess we'll go check that out. Uh, hmm, where do we want to go? So over here is the mechanic. Did we miss anything over here? I don't think so. Uh, where do we go if we go here? Okay. Where? Where's the entrance to the machine shop, though? Hmm. Okay. Repairs made. Okay, I guess we'll go this way. Extra, extra, bloody shootout and guarded up the gods. Yeah, yeah. Don't care so much about that. Oh, there's a couple of love birds over there. Oh, and something to salute. Rangers hail the Brandy's heroes. Diary. Dorsey's flee the city. Okay, I guess we'll read Brandy's diary. Oh, that's Brandy. Okay. You, Troy! Those old people are looking at us? It's okay, Brandy. I got this. Get lost, you perv douchebags. Before I... Wait a minute. You're old, right? Can you get us some beers? Those stupid Mary Milk Teeth won't sell us any. Too young, she says. Hmm. Give Brewers light. You kids have fun. Let's... Rap for fellow youths. Drinking and drugs ain't cool, okay? Stay in school. Uh, let's give uh, him Boar's Light. You light? Guess it's got alcohol, so whatever. Thanks. Oh, yay! Light is my absolute fave. <laughs> Lovely. Let's take a look at Brandy's diary. No, we can't. Why can't we read her diary? I guess it's rude to read it, but I wanted to anyway. Okay, I suppose we would be allowed to go in here now, but we'll wait on that. Oh, let's check out uh, the shop. He said he would give us discounts, right? Look, Martha, it's our friends who helped us save the shop. What can I do for you? We've got some discounts with your name on them. Okay. Me and your wife get along well. What can you tell me about your shop? Show me what you have for sale. Okay. Ragtag outfit. Scrapper outfit. Worker outfit. Now we're talking. Armored pads, armor mod, chest armor. Okay. Impact foam. 
combat belt. Uh, ooh, and it's a quick slot. That's actually quite not quite nice. Ablative spray. Armor plus one, cold energy fire, and explosive resistance plus fifteen percent. These are not bad items, uh, but I don't think I want to buy anything at the moment. Scrap armor, scrap pants, scout armor, rad tech armor. Pants, Rattack Helmet, Merc Armor, plus four. Okay. I don't think we're going to buy anything just now. Let's just head on over to... We have to go over to the... Uh, mission Log, Full House. Um, Gideon Reyes, Big Trouble in Little Vegas, I guess is it. Yeah, Fern Brigo. So I guess we're heading to Little Vegas. Was it over this way? Maybe. Oh, let's let's try going in here and see what's in here. Oh, animatronic. Okay. Came here for every class trip we ever had. Is Buchanan a man? <laughs> Can we click these to make them do something? The display is inactive. Okay. Yeah, this whole place is a gloss. But who wants to hear all the ugly details? Oh, that one's active. Old Baldy. A mechanical eagle in a red, white, and blue top hat slumps on a rustic perch. Why, hello there! My name's Old Baldy, and this here is the Saul Buchanan Colorado Heritage Museum. Or, as I like to call it, home. Okay, there's a broken generator over there. I guess we need to fix that. Me and my friends here are dedicated to telling the story of old Saul Buchanan and the refounding of the great state of Colorado, which is just the first step in Saul's plan to bring back the good old United States of America. Okay. Now, just uh, stroll from stage to stage, and we'll tell you the story along the way. It's as simple as that. Okay. Any questions before you go? Tell us your kind of story. Did Buchanan make this museum for himself? Are you the American Eagle? That's all we want to know. Thanks. Uh, did Buchanan make this museum for himself? Saul Buchanan is far too modest for such egotistical shenanigans. No, sir. It was the hundred families who built this place as a gracious thank you to the patriarch for all he's done for them. Okay. Are you the American Eagle? just like my picture, don't I? Now, wait a minute. Let me give you my good <laughs> side. There you go. I gotta admit, though, I'm looking better than I was. <laughs> Life's been pretty tough on old Baldy since the world went to pot. Lost a lot of feathers. But now that Patriarch Buchanan's rebuilding America, I'm starting to feel like my old self again. Oh, good, good. Uh, tell us Buchanan's well, story. I don't want to spoil the show, but... It begins with Saul's humble start in this very town. And it follows the trials and tribulations he faced uniting the hundred families, defeating the monster army, and bringing peace and security to Colorado. And okay. in case you were worried, it's suitable for children of all ages. Oh, good. Uh, Animal Whisperer, okay. Okay, that's all we want to know, thanks. Great! 
Then on with the show. Yeah. Youngest son of the Buchanan clan. Brave survivors of the fall of man. Baby Saul grew straight like a tree. Could swing a sledgehammer before he was three. Learned to read and write before he could walk. Finished all his schooling before he could talk. Showed all his teachers a thing or two. When he taught them that a fact didn't have to be true. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man! The strongest of men! You can say that again. Okay. Alright, what do we have here? Pre deluge canned beans, cybernetic limbs, the hundred concords, a patriot's weapon, monster uniform, a traitor's weapon. What's that? Can't see what that is. Okay. Artificial limbs and augmentations taken from the bodies of defeated Scar Collectors after the legendary Battle of Punkin Center where the Patriarch defeated the savage warlords of the Eastern Plains once and for all. A can of baked beans from the bunker where the Patriarch's family waited out the deluge fire. Canned food like this was all they had to eat, unlike today when the Patriarch has provided us with fresh greenhouse grown vegetables. Okay. The original and authentic treaty that united the hundred families under the Patriarch's rule for the safety of the people of Corrado, signed by the Patriarch himself and representatives of each of the families. A, rep a replica of the rifle Sheriff Daisy used when she fought uh, at the Patriarch's side during the war against the Plains Gangs. For her bravery, heroism, and tactical brilliance, he appointed her Sheriff of Colorado Springs. Okay. Then there's the monster uniform. Uniform of a soldier in the monster army, the gang that terrorized Colorado Springs until the Patriarch defeated them and won their fealty. The bullet holes and blood show the fierceness of the fighting. Okay. Is there anything that we can loot here? That's really what I'm most interested in. I guess there's something in here, it looks like. Ooh, a lot of stuff. This looks interesting. Worm in formaldehyde, nasty. Dollars, big lighter, and tax evasion for morons. Okay. Ammo box. Ammo, makes sense. Another container. A new tour introduction, version one. Some money and a booger ring. Okay. Let's loot all. Greetings, visitors. My name is Junko Murayama, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Saul Buchanan Colorado Heritage Museum. You're about to embark on a journey through history as we share with you the people and events that made Colorado what it is today. Nice. Our new and improved animatronic exhibits will bring history to life as you learn about the rise of the Patriarch, the unification of the Hundred Families, and their battles against the Monster Army and the Plains Gangs. The staff of the Colorado Heritage Museum asks that you do not interact with the exhibits. Ready? Let's go! Okay. Nice. 40 energy cells. We needed that. And then there's a brainwave destabilizer laser weapon. Its microwaves can scramble neural pathways, making them target con tar making targets confuse friends with foes. May cause tumors. Okay. Hmm, pretty cool. We'll take all that. We don't have anyone who can use it yet, do we? Requires weird science. Uh, I think. Do we have anyone with uh, weird science? Uh, weird science. Okay. Okay, so he has Weird Science 3, but it took Weird Science 4, so 
I guess we, when we level up, we'll level him up with that. All right. Let's click that. Thought they had a better idea. Believe they could rule by murder and fear. Tried to steal Colorado from our patriarch, but old Saul proved his bite was worse <laughs> than his bark. Drove out the Dorseys and gave their land to the poor and the needy and the Indian. So mercy for the merciless was his stance. So he hunted the Dorseys to the very last man. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man! Truest of men, you could say that again. <laughs> I guess that we, we took that out of order. Where, where where do we start? Over here and then move that way? Let's try that. Then came the gangs of the Eastern Plains, hoping to rob us of our worldly gains. Oh, so, so I'm coming and he rolled up his sleeves. He said, you're all nothing but a pack of thieves. Strong as an ox at three score and ten. He faced down the savages again and again. Then drove them back to the desolate east and secured for Colorado an endless peace. <laughs> He's becoming a man. Oh boy, what a man. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think well, probably this one should have been the first one. The hundred families came to see you. Yeah, I think so. Fell the fight and over frivolous things. Still saw raise their heads to the circling wings of the vultures who were waiting to die like kings. He said that the only way to save the land was to bury the hatchet and all shake hands. So they signed the treaty in a single day and begged him to lead them and show them the way. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man. The truest of men. You can say that again. I think this is so cool. It's a funny little thing in a way of tell the story. Telling the story. With the families behind him, Saul went to war and fought all the monsters of Satan's bazaar. He lined them all up and he cut them all down till Flab the Inhaler surrendered his crown. Flab the Inhaler. Became a fair Flab and made him a deal. If your boys work for me, they'll never miss a meal. Flab signed up on the dotted line. Now his monsters keep it safe in the evening time. Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man. The truest of men. You can say that again. <laughs> okay, that, that's a pretty cool little thing. That's a pretty cool little thing. I don't think we can do anything else in here. But we've got some nice stuff, so... Alright, so... Let's check out this dumpster, I guess. Don't know why we didn't do that last time. Mailbox. Brawling weapon. Okay. We all... Used cat litter. Lovely. And a sack of cat bones. Lovely. Sounds, looks, sounds fancy. Can we go in there? Yeah. Sands Lutz Apartments. Ah, okay. Uh, the Desert Rangers to see Miss Wong. You're here? I don't believe it. Come in, come in. Alright, I guess we're going in. I guess we're doing this before we do... The, uh... The nightclub. Sure. Might as well do this now that we're here.
So while this is loading, I just want to take the opportunity to say if you're enjoying uh, the video and, and enjoying uh, the series of Wasteland 3, I would really appreciate it if you leave a like. It helps me out a lot for every like I get. And if you don't like it, then leave a dislike. And if you're new to the channel, why not hit the subscribe button as well? So you know when new videos are coming out. All right. Rosie Wong. Rosie Wong is waiting for you when you enter. Smoking cigarette. She smiles when she sees you. Her teeth are the color of caramel corn. Lovely. I can't believe you came. Those goddamn marshals never come. They think I'm a pest. <laughs> I'm vigilant is what I am. V-I-G-I-L... She takes a deep drag. A-N-T. Anyhow, I hope you're ready for trouble, Rangers, because I got a situation here. Oh, okay. come on, Rosie. I always came when you called, didn't I? You're with the Rangers now, Quan? Well, you were one of the better ones. I'm glad you're out of that martial racket. Okay. Uh, what's your problem with the marshals? <laughs> They're bought and paid for. Sure as hell never help ordinary citizens, let me tell you. Unless you pay them extra. But I never pay anybody until they earn it. Okay. Why do the marshals think you're a pest? Because I ask them to do their job. They hate that, the lazy, fat-ass carbuncles. If they never did a lick of work in their lives, it would be too much for them. Ugh. Okay, what seems to be the, the trouble? Guy in room three, Irv. He's not supposed to have anybody else living there, but I hear voices in there all the time. They're always banging on stuff, and I can smell burning and bleach, and I don't know what else. Make him stop it or throw him out. Either one is fine with me. Okay. Have you looked inside the room? I can't. The shifty bastard's put his own locks on the door. That's how I know he's up to no good. Apartment room three. End of the long hallway. The door's on the right. Okay. I know he's up to something. I just know it. <sighs> okay, Rosie. We got it. All right, well, let's first snoop around. See if there's anything that we can get. She, I guess she's a cat lady. That one has a name, Katmandu. The others are just cats. Other than that, it doesn't seem like there's anything in here. Oh, yeah, there. Drug stash. Evidence. Okay, and then we have Red Rooster. Wakes you up all day long. Red Rooster, 1 AP. Smoke to gain plus 10% crit chance for 36 turns. Let's offer minus 10% hit chance for 60 turns afterwards. Oh, sharp. Okay. Then Sticks. Smoke to gain plus 10% crit chance. That's the same thing. Nyko Pops. Smoke to gain plus 10%. Ah, they're all the same. Okay. And then there's a Seagar. Rago's Big Vegas brand premium CR, the smooth smoke for rough times. Rago's Big Vegas brand premium CR, smoke to gain. Same thing. Alright, we'll get take it all. Alright, Marshals, listen up. If you won't take my noise complaint seriously and do your damn job, then I guess I'll just have to do it for you. There's been strange noises coming out of apartment 3 all week. People yelling and stomping around at all hours, and strange mechanical sounds. He could be making bombs for all I know. Say you need evidence? Well, Irv just left, so I'm going inside and documenting everything I find. Oh, who's there? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's Rosie Wong, the landlady. I was just checking to make sure you were okay. Why wouldn't I be okay? Oh, well, you know, the noise. Okay. Guess we need higher me mechanic to do that. So hopefully they'll level up soon. Right, half us. You're telling us to fuck off? Right. That's not very nice, is it? Huh? Get the fuck out of my apartment. He's rude. Suppose we were rude too by not knocking. Doesn't seem like he has anything anyway. Apartment 
and six. Okay, well. Let's pick it. Okay. Satoshi. Meet space demons intercepted. Display rendered objects and assigned to translation vectors. Okay. This hooded figure peers at you, unblinking, and prefers a simple metal case. He seems to want you to take it. Uh, what are you offering Redundant us? Redundant variable detection grid populated by live stream data. Okay. Take the case. Oh, thanks. Do not delete local references to object. If memory allocation is null, then unhandled exception occurs. It appears he's telling you not to open or discard the case or you'll face some kind of consequence. He turns back to his terminals and seems to forget you're in the room. Avoid unintentional unsigned wraparounds. Okay. Weird. Where's this box he gave us? Mysterious case. An unadorned metal case given you to, to you by Satoshi. He asked you to hold onto it and never open it. Hmm. Quick slot item. I'm not sure I want to open it right now. Let, let's not open it right now. Though curiosity might get the better of me. Anyway, we are out of time, so we'll keep uh, exploring this uh, in the next one, guys. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.